All right, let's get this started. Always new bugs to work out with new technologies, but we're getting through them. Hey, hey there. Today we're going to take a look at the magic yellow bag. Welcome to my Lego room office. Alright, well first things first, we're going to take care of the bag scenario over here. i got bags piled up about four or five feet tall over here. I'm going to go ahead and fold and break down all my glorious Lego bags. So here we go. Let's take a look at this. There we are. And we can see my workstation here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the bags as I need them. And uh, here we go. So Lego bags have changed over the years. We used to once see that iconic red brick on the back of all their bags, but now they've gone to a newer style where it's just the Lego logo on both sides. One of the most iconic and most recognizable logos on the planet is what they used for both sides. They, they eliminated the two by four red brick and frankly, I stay awake at nights now thinking about hey, this. Hey, all right, let's get this thing started. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. All right, what's up? We're gonna take a look at the bags that I just broke down really quickly. Let's take a look at these bags. I got a whole bunch of them. All right, so here are the big boys. These are the ones that fit their biggest sets. Uh, aside from the UCS box sets, as you can see back here, these larger sets that come in the cardboard box, those have this bag which is enormous but the most common large bag for large sets right here we're getting a whole bunch of stuff so you walk out of the Lego store with one of these you're usually sitting pretty good you're sitting on a cloud uh, walking out of the, the mall you're kind of just looking around as you feel this golden bag in your hand and you're looking around for actually other golden bags and you know you see somebody who's walking by and they have the golden bag and uh, you know, you make eye contact, you give a little, I see what you got, man, good stuff. Or you go right up to him and you ask him, he's like, what'd you get? And I've done that all, I've done it all. All right, here's the, uh, let's call this the large bag, but not so large. This is the bag that'll fit a lot of smaller Technic sets and uh, smaller Star Wars sets. Uh, if you're on the, the modest budget, that's the, that's what you'll use there. And of course, last but definitely not least, huh, well, not even last, it's like, here's the medium sized bag. I'll just show you this one. This is again for much smaller sets, maybe multiple small sets. And I'll just put those here. And uh, what I didn't show yet was this little guy. And this is a cute, cute little Lego bag, uh, of course. I mean, just a little gem to get one of these. And uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter if you get the largest bag to the smallest bag, uh, you will pay your uh, bag fee here where I live. So there's a couple of older bags I used to throw out there and this is a big one. This will fit again the big sets. This is the uh, plastic bag, which doesn't protect the set as much. It does. Uh, help it from scratches and other things that just mildly brush against the bag, but uh, Something about these paper bags is just a, a nice thing to have um, And much better. I do have this Even older bag right here And I have that too, but there's a nice Lego land Can get in close on there. You can see quite a few people in there from Anakin to just about every everyone else, but I got Anakin's funny little face in there. All right, pretty cool. It's a nice bag. This one's a little gem because this one is sort of an older style, uh, and you can tell when they're reprinting bags. You can tell the older style, the glossy bag versus the matte bag of the new. So this is one of the older style bags. It gives you the 
the string here uh, for the handhold as opposed to the paper. Uh, this is a much more inexpensive way to print them. So that's the newer one. And again, this glossy bag is the older print. And uh, just nice to have all these little, tiny little piece of history. What am I gonna do with all this? I don't know, it takes up a ton of space. I mean, if you don't want to damage them too bad. Um, or maybe I'm gonna put them online for sale. Do you think I'd get anything for it? I would like to know what you think about that. Do you think that I could sell this lot of golden yellow bags, these beautiful magic bags? What could I get for this? Hit the research button. Look at all these bags. All right, glad I went over that though. Pretty cool. These bags are gonna move on uh, to a better place right now. So I can get moving on the next project, which is these totes right here. And inside these totes, I have tons of Lego sets that need to be put away into the closets over here, or the cabinets as I call them. So right now I'm working on my cabinets. I'll come over and show you what's going on. And I'm getting my storage in order. And while getting everything in order, I am coming to a realization that this is the right thing for me. This is where everything is leading me. This is the path I have chosen. And I believe this path was put before me for some reason. So I'm going to keep on it and stay positive. All right. So as you can see, I've got a lot going on in the cabinets. And I'm pushing to actually take over a fourth set of cabinets. And again, a lot of these boxes you can see over here, we got some Target boxes, we have some Walmart, some Amazon purchases. Uh, and of course my big boys here, these UCS chips will find their home as well. They'll be in a safe place. Uh, eventually, of course, once the office finishes up and I start getting the shelving in order, I will sit down and enjoy the build like a fine wine. I'll take out these UCS sets and I'll spread out and I'll have tons of room and everything's just gonna be just right. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and move forward into some of these boxes and totes. Let me know what you think in the comments below. There's more to come. Please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.